Hello everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. We are gonna be taking a look at what it is that you need to know to book a private session with me. All of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. Talk to me about energies that surround Taurus in the recent past, please. Why is this important for Taurus to know? Talk to me about energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. You have the Eight of Pentacles coming out here first. Tell me more about that. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Talk to me about the recent past with the Eight of Pentacles. Communication. So it's like in the recent past, you were working on something that had to do with communication or you may be trying to come up with a way to express yourself about something. I feel like there are some ideas that you might've had in the recent past. And this is basically saying that something is going to work out in the future. There's some sort of plan or idea that you have and You've been thinking about it for a while and recently there might have been a conversation about this. You could have been really just kind of like putting yourself out there, um, hoping to get, you know, someone to reciprocate or validate your emotions in a particular area. I feel that you might have said the right thing at the right time. So I would say yes to whatever it is that you've been planning. You spoke to somebody about your plan. And I feel that because of that, things start to move a lot quicker. Um, this conversation, it's just going to work out in your favor or it felt like it went well in the recent past. You might have been communicating with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, something about your financial stability or conversations around work seem to be going very well, or they will be going very well, okay? Tell me more about the recent past. We have Scorpio showing up here. Talk to me about Scorpio with the King of Cups presenting himself. Why do we have Scorpio here in the recent past? Yes, the nine of pentacles energy. So this is like an independent idea. This is something independent. You're going to start doing something solo. It's like you're going alone. If you're a part of a group, I see you kind of detaching to take care of something by yourself. I feel like once you detach, it's just like the best move that you made. Um, if this is in reference to love, there is somebody showing up here as the King of Cups for the Nine of Pentacles. So there's this energy of you wanting to be single. Um, and that's probably because there's a lot of options presenting themselves. You may be having a conversation with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces energy about how you just want to do things on your own. If you're not talking to a water sign about this or anybody about it, it's like you are going to be on your own in a certain area and someone needs to respect that. They need to respect the boundary that you're putting up. And I feel like as you go off on your own, that you will do well with the nine of pentacles energy showing up here. Tell me more about the recent past. Talk to me about the recent past. We have Pisces energy. I feel that this King of Cups, whomever he is, whether it's a water sign or not, this is somebody who is hiding the way that they truly feel. They are dealing with it quietly. They feel like they're under pressure. Let's put it like that. They're viewing you as pressure and they're having to just deal with you wanting to just do things your own way because that's what this is saying here. You're working on something in the recent past. You've been talking about what your next steps are going to be to individuals that are fundamental. So 
It's not like you're having these conversations with people that shouldn't know. You're talking to the right people about taking some type of step forward, which I feel will work out very well for you in the future. Um, if this is in context of love, there is somebody here who seems to be fixated, obsessed, or you know, just hyper vigilant of what you have going on. And it seems like whatever it is you have going on, you do very well at it on your own, okay? And that's probably some of the animosity or the contrast that you are feeling from many people. And it's because it seems like you don't want any help from anybody or you don't need it. And so that causes people to feel like you don't need them which in return will make them treat you differently, you know? So not that you're affected by them treating you differently. I feel that you know why everything is happening. You know that you've changed and other people don't want to accept that change, but you have. And if you have accepted the change, then that's all that really matters. So let's talk about the present. Spirit, talk to me about the present when it comes to energies that surround Taurus. So we have this five of pentacles energy, all right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Talk to me about the five of pentacles. Talk to me about the five of pentacles energy, the emperor. You know, there's this energy of, even though you seem to be doing very well at something independently, you also may be feeling like it also hurts you to cut somebody out of the situation, to not speak to them anymore, or to just basically tell them, hey, it's just better for me to just move in a different direction. It's not the easiest thing for you to go through in the present moment, knowing that you have made a decision, you are firm in it, and there's also this energy of, feeling like, are you making the right choice, right? I feel like you're questioning yourself on some type of move that you'll be making. I feel like you're going to be successful at that move or whatever the endeavor is. But there's this energy of, you know, I'm not fully feeling the way that I should be feeling if I were moving in the right direction. Okay, so... There's just this quality of lack where you wish that even though you're going in a certain direction and you're making your mind up about something, you wish that things could have been different with certain individuals, you know? It's like you did want somebody to be a part of your journey. And for some reason, it's like there were some detours and now you have decided that you're gonna accept the detour um, with some level of disappointment. For each of you, it'll be a different uh, type of disappointment that you face while you move ahead. There has to be pain in order to have success, okay? So you're gonna go through your trials. You're gonna appreciate those trials once you make it to that victory. Tell me more. Talk to me about, yeah, the three of swords. Something is painful in the present moment. We have Aries energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn. So um, this message could be for you, but it also could be for someone that you're dealing with or that surrounds you. Talk to me about the three of swords. All right, we have... The Six of Cups. So there's like someone that you've known for a long time here, for a while. And it's not easy for them either. You know, I feel like in the present moment, there is a separation that's taking place or there's a divide. You know, um, there's division. There's two people who are going their separate ways but it's because, you know, that's destiny. It's meant to happen. And you have to experience this time in your life in order to experience the greater times that you will have. So, you know, that's what this is speaking to. 
Now talk to me about the future. Spirit, talk to me about the future when it comes to energies that surround Taurus. We have the Queen of Wands. So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands in the future. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me more. Yeah, I feel like you have your sights on something bigger, okay? Or perhaps now you plan on entertaining somebody else that you never thought you would entertain and now you're taking that leap of faith. But there's just this energy here of you not wanting to stay in a situation that doesn't work. And that situation could be within a family, a job, you know, um, a neighborhood, a community, an organization, a field of study, or a lover. You know, there's a detachment that's happening here. And it's not easy and it's triggering and it's painful. But again, it contributes to the better times that you're about to have. So you have to appreciate these moments. We do have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Let me clarify who this Ten of Wands is. Spirit, talk to me about the Ten of Wands energy. Who is this Ten of Wands showing up here? Could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um, even if it's not an air sign, I just feel like because of somebody cutting something out or someone deciding to just not be a part of the cycle anymore. I feel like you're struggling with it, Taurus, but so is somebody else, all right? And they may not be telling you about the struggle and they may not be talking about, you know, how it's affecting them, but it's happening here. So there's more than one person, you know, it's like you both are going through it um, the relationship just doesn't seem to be what it was. I don't know what relationship that is, whether it's in your professional life, a family dynamic, or a love situation. There's something that just, you just don't go for it anymore. You know, you've evolved, you ascended, you are not the same person anymore. You chose not to be the same person. And, um, I think that you owe that to your spirituality and the fact that you have started to listen to your intuition a little bit more, which is now making you more aware of the better decisions that you should make, you know, so you owe that to yourself. Anything else for Taurus? Anything else in the future here for Taurus that Taurus needs to know about? Anything else? The sun, the world, and the ace of wands. You know, the world is you wrapping something up. It's ending, okay? All right, for some of you, what's ending is the agony, the pain, where you're finally saying, I don't wanna feel like that anymore. So I'm banishing it, I'm doing away with it. For others of you, you saw this coming, it's going to happen. Somebody else doesn't want you to have this awakening, okay? But I feel like you are handing out lessons. While somebody watches you transcend, evolve, and change, because I feel like you're reinventing yourself at this time, while they watch that, then they're gonna learn off of you. And then hopefully that'll be their lesson, okay? Because somebody's going to lose you, is what I'm saying, Taurus. All right? Something's wrapping up. It's uncomfortable for the both of you, but it was time. All right. So that's what I have for you, Taurus, to book a private session. All of that info is below. Take care.